Hello, Collective. I have a weekend message for you. The lovers came flying out in the pre-shuffle. So let's see what it is they want you to know with regards to love and romance this weekend. I hope everybody's doing well. I have completed the Earth, <laughs> Earth, Wind and Fire, <laughs> Earth, Air and Fire uh, readings. And uh, hopefully they will be of help to you. This will be your only collective reading over the weekend. And then I will resume again on Monday with the collective readings. Water, you're up on Monday or Tuesday, depending on when I'm able to record. So do pay attention for your readings then. Okay. Whoa, tower, 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 tower and judgment. Um, we are in Mercury retrograde. Somebody from the past could be returning suddenly out of nowhere. Um, the tower could also indicate that some sort of struggle or some sort of difficulty is um, headed your way this weekend. Let me make a minor adjustment, okay? All right. So, we know that the overall energy of this reading has to do with a love connection. Love connection. This love connection has uh, been going through some sort of extreme difficulty with the Nine of Wands. It could be that individually you may be going through difficult times, or it could be that as a couple you have been going through a struggle. Um, the Nine of Wands often comes in with a labyrinth style uh, relationships as well. So what I mean by that is, um, you know, things seem to be going well, and then all of a sudden, boom, you know, there's, there's no communication. And then it resumes again later, and no communication. Positive movement, negative movement, positive movement, negative movement. So it's sort of like that uh, beaten down and weary energy. And so we see this beaten down and weary energy takes a turn for the better. Uh, very likely at some point during this weekend, it takes, takes a turn for the better. Now, it's interesting because we do have two kings, so... It could be that one person does receive uh, strong communication. However, I feel that um, you and your romantic interest this weekend have this playful, fun energy with the fool. Um, the energy of the fool can indicate, you know, that you, you guys are taking a leap of faith in a new direction. I see whichever one of the two of you has a strong feminine energy, you're going to be kind of in your emotions. You're going to be very sweet, very nurturing, very kind. Um, so that, that's a strong positive energy as well. The masculine energy of the two is going to be more forthcoming, more direct, more um, less, less romantic, more authoritarian, less romantic, more stoic um, so there seems to be a mismatch of emotions here the hangman with the nine of cups I find to be interesting um, it's almost like somebody doesn't know how to be happy or maybe both of you don't know how to be happy if there's been some difficulty going on and someone is very stuck on um they're having trouble finding a sense of happiness we see tremendous grief here so some difficulty could befall the masculine energy over the weekend there may be some negative news that kind of comes out of nowhere with that tower and that negative news that comes out of nowhere with the tower causes the masculine energy to kind of get in their emotions, uh, which is actually, it, it, it's, 
I wouldn't want anything bad to happen to anybody. However, it seems to put the two of you on the same wavelength. It's almost like whatever difficulty happens with regards to the tower um, puts you at a place where you appreciate one another emotionally, if that makes any sense. But the masculine energy is going to struggle with finding a sense of happiness and contentment over the weekend as a result of some sort of difficulty that has been occurring. Um, after the tower occurs, the sudden lightning, sudden situation that kind of comes up out of nowhere it looks like there's going to be a need for the two of you to figure out what to do next. Um, and it appears to be a very emotional, uh, an emotional decision, right? It's an emotional, ooh, five of swords, okay. Honesty is going to be your best policy. Intense stress. Two of Wands, the moon, please. I feel like there's a strong focus on a relationship and on the bond of this relationship and how much it helps the two of you to move forward. Um, there is, there is, with the two of wands and the moon, I feel like the two of wands is, okay, how do you take action and communicate with love during a time of trial and difficulty? Um, because we see the trial and difficulty here with the Tower, the Five of Swords, and the Ten of Wands. There's you know some sort of some sort of news that comes in and just it like derails all happiness. It makes things uh, kind of come to a crashing halt, and at that point in time, it causes grief for the masculine energy, um, and both of you needing to find a way forward. So I feel like whatever difficulty is going to occur for the two of you, I see this strong sense of connection, the strong sense of um, um, uh, bonding between you and this person. Now I do see three kings coming out. Uh, just to note, the one king that's missing is the king of coins. Let's see where the king of coins is. The king of coins is a very persistent, very stable energy. And that seems to be the only thing missing. Okay, so the king of coins is, is kind of gridlocked between death and a new beginning. Um, it could be that the grief we see here with the Three of Swords and the Death card could be related to somebody's uh, physical health. It could also be related to someone's passing, but usually doesn't have to be. Because we also had the Three of Swords come out though, I would have to wonder if it, if it potentially does. Um, so we see that the masculine energy wants to move forward in a much more committed way with their partner, but yet they have to release some sort of energy first. So regardless of whether the two of you are in a long-term committed relationship, that seems to be the only thing that's lingering out there um, with regards to moving forward. The two of you right now, this weekend, it looks like there will be some fun energy, but the masculine energy will seem a little bit distant. And so with this distant energy, 
the distant energy could be as a result of uh, a recent tower or one that's coming. And so um, the, the feminine energy is going to need, need to be patient, but the two of you together are going to have to find a way through this because together finding a way through this is going to bring you closer. All right. So that's what I have for someone this weekend. Love and light to you. I'll see you again soon.